Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free book review of Space Opera by Catherine M. Valente. I received a finished copy of this book from Wonderkind PR and Saga Press, so thank you to them. Space Opera is a space opera that was released last month in May, and it's quite heavy on the humor. It follows Decibel Jones and the Absolute Zeros, a glam rock ex-band who have been selected to represent Earth in this metagalactic Grand Prix. And this Grand Prix is the result of the sentience wars that were, I think, a hundred years ago at this point, where multiple races across the galaxy were trying to prove their sentience and eliminating races that were not proven to be of a specific level of sentience. When these alien races reach out to Earth, the humans are very confused because obviously we are sentient beings. Have you seen what we've done with this world? To which the aliens reply, yes, we have seen what you've done and you all hate each other and you destroy each other constantly. And that doesn't prove sentience to us. And those who created the Metagalactic Grand Prix decided that to prove sentience, you had to prove a higher form of creativity and art and expression. So musicians and artists are sent to this pre to compete. And humans have finally been noticed by these other races. And when a race enters the Grand Prix for the first time, they have to prove their sentience in order to continue on being part of this tradition. And if they lose during this first round, then the race is eliminated. And by lose, I mean last place, not they don't get first place. And that is the gist of what this book is doing. You're watching Decibel Jones and the Absolute Zeros, who are kind of the protagonists of the story, compete for Earth. And I don't consider that to be a spoiler because it's included on the dust jacket description of the book. This book is full of snark and sass, and it's very funny, and it's often described as Eurovision in space. So I'm gonna go over what I liked about this book, what I didn't like about this book, and then the star rating that I ended up deciding to give it. I've already mentioned some of the themes that were represented in this book, but I really liked those for the most part. The idea of sentience and you guys all kill each other all the time, why should we trust you if we let you into our intergalactic council group thing? Why should we trust you and not assume that you're gonna try to kill us too? That creativity and respect for life are held up on a pedestal, and that it's not just, oh, look at all of your creation and what you've done with technology. And it was interesting to see aliens considering us as not being sentient and humane beings, <laughs> because I think we humans often think quite a bit of ourselves. I mentioned that this is often described as Eurovision in space. Each chapter is actually named after a Eurovision performance. I am an American who's never followed Eurovision, so at the start of each chapter, I would go and look up the performance that is being referenced in the chapter title, and I think that added to my reading experience, so I would recommend doing that even if you have been following along with Eurovision. It kind of gives some context and a setup for the chapter, and it helps create a vibe for that specific chapter. And then my final thing that I liked is also the biggest dislike, and that was the style. <laughs> And I say that it is a big like as well as a big dislike because I think that it's the main thing that kept me going in the story, but it was also one of the biggest drawbacks of the story. This is the first work by Valente that I have ever read, so I'm not sure if her style is the same in every single book, but there were lots of very long, almost run-on sentences. It was very glammy. And though that set a really interesting tone for the story that drew me in, in a sense, it also could really detract from my experience when I was getting lost in these long sentences. As an example of what the style is like, I want to read just the first sentence to you so that you can get an idea of what you think of it. Because I think that if you can read several chapters of this and you're liking it and you get, let's say, like 50 pages into the book and it's okay for you, then this could be a book you like. But if you are feeling kind of unsure in the first 50 pages if the style is going to work for you, it's probably not going to. And here is the first sentence from the first chapter, which is boom bang a bang. Once upon a time, on a small, watery, excitable planet called Earth, and a small, watery, excitable country called Italy, a soft-spoken, rather nice-looking gentleman by the name of Enrico Fermi was born into a family so overprotective that he felt compelled to invent the atomic bomb. I think that the line, life is beautiful, life is stupid, is also pretty representative of what this book is like in its style. So as I said, give it a shot if you're considering it, and if you don't like the style, you probably won't like it. Because in a lot of ways, I think this book is a bit more style than substance.
because I liked the themes that were presented. However, there is virtually no plot in this book. And I think that it's not helped by the fact that the book is often switching back and forth between the present timeline with Decibel Jones and the Absolute Zeros, and then past intergalactic pre's where different races are being described and who won and stuff like that in the performances. So that didn't help with the fact that it didn't feel like the plot was really going anywhere. Like the main point of the plot is getting to the intergalactic pre and then the performance. That could be in part because this book is quite short, but because the book was short, I think it was only like 300 pages, using about a third of the book to represent the previous Grand Prix and the races who are competing just felt a little bit jarring and like the time could have been used to actually progress the plot. And then the final thing that I wasn't so much a fan of is that I didn't really care about any of the characters. So if you are a super character driven person, this might not work for you. And if you're a super plot driven person, this might not work for you. I think for you to enjoy this, you need to be on board with the style. And if you're like me, you need to be themes oriented because I am only slightly a style person. I like style, but it isn't always a make or break it for me for the book. But the style is the main thing that kept me going in this, even though it also held me back sometimes. So I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars, mainly for those style aspects and then the themes that I did enjoy. Anyway, that is going to be it for this spoiler-free review of Space Opera by Catherine M. Valente. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this and what you thought of it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. And until next time.